I'm John Hinkle, the senior pastor of First Presbyterian Church here in downtown historic Murfreesboro on the corner of College and Spring. This is your Saturday morning preview of your Sunday morning sermon. It, it's hard to believe we're at the last Sunday in September. I know I say that a lot. It's hard to believe, but it is. It's it's hard to believe. It just feels like we 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 were starting on Labor Day Sunday on this new series of sermons on forgiveness. I've told you uh, in the beginning of this um, sermon series that there is no subject like forgiveness that will stir emotions in the heart of the believer. And this is held true, and it certainly held true last Sunday when Bobby preached what really was a, an incredible sermon about the aftermath of forgiveness, what, what we hope to get out of forgiveness, but more importantly, what we hope the person we are forgiven gets out of our forgiveness. So much so that that uh, when I got home Sunday after my trip to Auburn, uh, Leela shared with me that there was something that Bobby said that really kind of pushed her, kind of made her think and struggle. And she didn't know if she agreed with what he said or not, which is which is when Bobby said that that part of forgiveness is this ability to pray for that individual that that they would live a good life. I think part of the wording he used that, that we pray that they would thrive. I, I wasn't, believe it or not, I wasn't intending to 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 preach this conclusion to this series on anything Bobby had to say. Now that's not to say I didn't think he was going to say anything important, but but I after hearing Bobby's sermon, after talking with Leela, I thought we need to go a little deeper in this, right? I need to know why this was such a concern for Leela, why she struggled with this. And here's the funny thing. After I listened to Bobby's sermon on Monday, I, I struggled with it too. Well, part of my conclusion is Bobby didn't say anything wrong. What Bobby said, though, pushed me. Bobby's dad told Bobby growing up that a good sermon gives comfort to the afflicted and it afflicts the comfortable. And I think what what kind of pushed me uh, when I listened to Bobby's sermon was I was very comfortable in the way I understood forgiveness or how I understood it when I forgave somebody. You know, I forgive you. But usually when I forgive somebody, you know, so often I'm not hoping that they live a good life. I'm not hoping, how did Bobby put it, that they thrive. And yet when we look at our texts uh, for tomorrow, that's exactly what the Apostle Paul says we are called to do. Let me read you our text for tomorrow. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Paul goes on to say, therefore, get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling and slander in any other form of malice and replace it, Paul says, with kindness and compassion to one another. Forgiving, Paul says, each other. Maybe that's the hardest thing about forgiveness. It's not just that we have to forgive somebody, whatever that means. It's that we then have to pray for that person. That they would experience grace and mercy. That they would experience a good life. By our act of forgiveness, that they have been given time and space to thrive. I so much look forward to being with you uh, this Sunday. Uh, I'm just pumped about this sermon. 
Um, shout out to Will Fraley and to Glenn Emery, who certainly love the Saturday morning preview of Sunday morning sermon. We'll talk to you soon. Y'all have a great day.